I'm recording this video to show you how to perform 2D plots, how to create 2D plots with MATLAB. Uh, in this case, uh, again, I'm using, I'm following what you could see in, if you Google plot MATLAB, it brings you to the help. So I'm going to go with the help like line by line to have an understanding of how to do different things. The first example x is starting from 0, go to 2 pi, and then go with the increment of pi over 100. So overall, this will generate around 200 numbers. And then y is equal to sine of x, plot x and y. So that's what I put here, plot x and y. So the first plot will generate the sine x. So if I save and run, so this will generate, again, I have lots of plots are going on here. And then you can see everything from before is generated. I don't want this to happen. So please use the hold off in the beginning of your program. So hold off meaning that uh, I don't want to have anything from before. So then save, then run. Again, it generates the, the plot I was looking for. And that's actually plot of sine of x between 0 to 2 pi. In the next part, I want to have two plots on the same, like again, two function on the same plot. So in order to do that, like for instance, I have, I like to, I'm, I'm following the help. In the help, I would like to plot cosine x and sine x in the same plot. So I'm going to ask the MATLAB to create a new figure and then x and y1 and x and y2. So let's do this. So in this case, I have x line space of minus 2 pi to 2 pi. Again, I did not define how many to generate, and we know by default this will generate 100 points, right? It will generate 100 points for us. Then plot y1 and y2. If you do that, this will generate a function like this. In the third plot, I have the x and y which are different. So for instance, I have people in two different countries. And then I have their income and with respect to their spending. So if this is a spending, and then again, spending is, is Y, and then income is X in two different countries. So in this case, X1 and X2 are different. So that's why I have them in two different, again, between each of them, I say clear x, clear y1 and y2, because you don't want to have bring the variable from what you had before. You can actually have the clear and then say what array you want to clear. So create a new plot and then plot x1 and x2. Uh, in this case, I want to customize it. So if you want to customize your plot, for instance, you want to use circle, you put O, you want to put a star, you put a star here. Uh, this G stands for green, B stands for blue. So if I change this blue, it will make it red. Uh, if you want to have a title, you can put title. If you have X label, Y label, make put the legend there and then make the grid on or off. So you can, I, can, I can customize more on the third graph. So uh, let's save and run and then look at the third graph. If I look at the third graph, you can see I have green circles, which I say G dash O. I have red ones here. And I have, uh, again, I have uh, a red line. I have stars here. If you, if you are interested and you want to make more changes, you can actually change the line width as well. So uh, as you go more down into the help for MATLAB, you can customize many more. You can customize the width of the line. You can customize the color. In this case, like if you want to use the line width of 2, marker of 10. So I'm going to say, for instance, use the line width of, for instance, for the first one, use the line width of 2. And then I, I save and run to see what would happen. And I would see that this is much thicker now, right? If you use line width of 5, this will make it like a lot thick. Okay, so you can actually customize line width or anything else that you want to do uh, in this uh, plot. So the f last one I want to do, I want to subplot. Subplot meaning that put the plot in, in, in an arrangement such that, like for instance here, again, I won't be able to perform this, but if I have 
four three plots I want to have them like this the first one here the second one here and the third one here so put them in some arrangement right if you want to have like maybe 100 plots in one page uh, depending on what types of statistics that you want to do and you want to visually see them so you can use the function of subplot so in this case the subplot meaning that okay create a 2x2 two two. Uh, this will create a 2x2 two two for me again I need to get rid of figure figure because figure generate new figure I don't want to generate a new figure so subplot a 2x2 two two. this is going to be the first one this is going to be the second one again subplot the 2x2 two two, and this is going to be the third one so if I save and run so I'm I'm waiting to see something like this but problem is that I have the figure here left so that's why my third plot went to a new figure and I forgot about that so save save and run and there you go so first plot second plot and third 